Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and explain how the first ionisation energy varies down a group. In the last video we saw that ionisation energy depends on the attraction between the nucleus and the electrons in the outer shell. And this depends on three main factors. The first is the atomic radius. As the atomic radius increases, the attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons decreases. The second factor is the charge on the nucleus. As the number of protons increases, the attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons also increases. The last factor is the effective shielding. As we saw, electrons in the outer shell are repelled by electrons in the inner shells. As the number of inner shells increases, the attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons decreases. In this video, we're looking at how first ionisation energy varies down a group. I'm showing you here the first ionisation energies of lithium, sodium and potassium. These are the first three elements in group 1. As you can see, the first ionisation energy decreases as we go down a group, and this is due to two factors. Firstly, moving down a group, the atomic radius increases. This means that the outer electron shell is further away from the nucleus. Secondly, going down the group, the number of internal energy levels also increases, and this means that there's more shielding between the nucleus and the outer electrons. Now, both of these factors mean that going down a group, the attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons decreases, and this causes the first ionisation energy to fall. Now, you'll notice that the nuclear charge increases as we move down a group. However, the effect of this is offset by the two factors that we've just looked at. OK, so hopefully now you can describe and explain how the first ionisation energy varies down a group. In the next video, we look at how first ionisation energy varies across a period.